and welcome back to the Backseat Gamer. It's not Pop Tarts. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Ford Joan. Hey. Jason Amherst. What do you mean? They are clearly beef Pop Tarts. And Billy Carter. Are, are these Pop Tarts made out of uh, stewed meat or in gravy? Because that would actually be pretty darn good. Uh, I um, believe that's just ravioli at this point. <laughs> And that, that, that would be true. <laughs> well, 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 it's true. <laughs> Actually, I would, I, I, I could go for some ravioli. To be quite honest, that that's that's good stuff. Ravioli, ravioli. Now give, give me the formula. Give me the formula. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I bought some socks on online uh, the other day, and I just got them in. And on the bottom of it, it says, "If you could read this, I'm watching anime." If you can read this, you're too close. If you can read this, I'm about to kick you in the face. If you can read this, you're yeah. probably on Feet Finder. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the reason for the Pop-Tarts was prior to uh, recording, I had brought up uh, a, a thing where Jordan Grace was talking about uh, when she met with Shawn Michaels, and he asked her if her social media post was real, because she was making fun of bodybuilders and pro wrestlers and such eating these protein meals and stuff like that. And what she had done is taken a bite out of two Pop-Tarts uh, to make it look like she bit into it like a sandwich and then put raw ground beef in between the two, you know, and, and made a post about it being like a, a uh, you know, freaking meal. And he's like, is, is is that something? Is that something you guys do? Like, <laughs> so bless your heart, Sean. The the drugs and head trauma have finally gotten to you. It's almost like I said that exact same oh, thing. I'm, I'm <laughs> serious. I'm serious, guys. Like, you know, if, if that's what yeah, all the bodybuilders I mean, like, you you wrestlers and you know you you youngins are doing now, like. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm down with that. <laughs> I'm nauseous. It, do you remember when he was cool? <laughs> yeah, and then there was the whole uh, lost his smile storyline. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he was cool back when he did oh, drugs. Oh, my God. That shit was so bad. <laughs> back when so he did funny. stomas. Yeah. So much drugs that he was, it. <laughs> it was. It was never the hard stuff that he did. I, you know, it wasn't like cocaine and heroin and, or anything like that. He was just a pill popper. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did somas because that was Sonny's drug of choice, and you know, he he always wanted them sloppy beaches. Mmm, gross. Thanks. He always wanted the slap <laughs> the sloppy sushi. <laughs> Which is what they called Sonny's vagina. Yeah, sloppy sushi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Back in the day, any of us would have wanted to tap that. Yeah, back in the day. I mean, if we uh, if, now, if we were blind to the, now, if we were blind to the fact that she had 38 dicks in her at any one time, like they, they, if we ignored that, yeah, back in the day I would have fucked her. Now she's getting fucked by life, so, you know, or a life sentence. Now. I mean, the fact that at one point she was regularly fucking Jake the Snake Roberts. He just wanted to sample his Cobra. That is true. He, he, thir- he heard she had, or er, she heard okay, he I, had I would, a 12 inch python. I do not envy a friend of mine who is a teacher. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because we'll never know. Guess not. Yep. Sweet. Glad we could talk about it. I do not envy my butt crack. I don't envy your butt crack either. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Harry the Hypocritical Hippopotamus. <laughs> I just want to say, I think it's horrible <laughs> that people are disrespectful of other people's ethnicities and cultures. Isn't that right, Mike Riley, you fucking Irish prick? <laughs> <clears throat> Potato. 
my 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 connection reset itself and I walked right into that. Nice. It's just like when you Used. joined. It's just like when fucking Jace joined the call right before we started recording, and I said hello, Jace, and there was nothing, and then I said, oh, "I guess I'll go fuck myself." And Jace's like, oh, "That's the first thing I hear." <laughs> <laughs> yep, guess I go fuck myself. Would you like to watch? <laughs> There's been many recordings God that I've it. attended that that's the first thing Mike has said. Did I guess I go fuck myself? Yes, I have heard that many a times. You know, hi, Harry the Hypocritical Hippopotamus here. <laughs> you know, a lot of people... Oh, God! A lot of people like to make fun of my weight. And honestly, it really it hurts my feelings when people make fun of me for being overweight. Isn't that right, Billy? 300-pound sack of shit. <laughs> Uh, that's right, hippo, hippie, whatever the frick your fat, um, ugly African name is. What? <laughs> um. All right. God damn it. Harry. My name is Harry, first of all. And so is my second ass. Second of all. <laughs> second of all, I, I live in Newark, New Jersey. You, you sit you, well, for God's sakes, turn off your computer and move. It's like you shouldn't be. <laughs> you shouldn't be in Newark, for God's sake. A Jersey. Ew. Ew. Now you've been with every state that now Jersey's been with. Now I need to sanitize with. my Discord. If, oh no! If, if Jason, if Jason Jersey. was at home, this is where the toilet flushing sound effect would have been. Yeah. <laughs> is somebody? Pooping on the stream? No, somebody, no, mother, no, just no I'm pooping in the toilet. Thank you. Did you just do? Did you just do an impression of your own mother, Dave? <laughs> uh, I didn't even catch. I was that. wondering if you were going to catch that. <laughs> I didn't even catch that at first. So I was like, <laughs> my mom would just tell you she was pooping. I mean, she did tell us she farted. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. There was there was an old Dollar Bill <laughs> Reviews episode where they were at some hotel slash convention and Billy was filming his family. He's like, here's my ma. What do you, what do you got there, ma? I got a cookie. Oh, lock. Yeah, I call my <laughs> mom a whole lock. <laughs> well, we call each not. other that all the time. That's you, Polak. Weird. <laughs> Yeah, I would say it's kind of weird. It's it's uh, up here in Toledo. We call each other that all the time because even the Polish people call each other it's Polacks a, because they are regional. Polacks. But yeah, it's a regional. It's, it's, it's a regional slur. <laughs> it's a regional slur. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck! I missed. Ah, you miss, call, I fucking. If, if, if you, you heard call my great grandfather used to say about obviously grip. Yeah, great grandfather. And I'm 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 going to tell you guys this. He was not the most um, uh, tactful man in the no. world. He, he, he was, me down neither, with neither was my grandfather. Although I never met the guy because he died when my mom was fifteen. Well, this this is my great grandfather. My my grandfather was a great dude. My grandfather was a horse. Your father, no, my, 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 my grandfather was apparently a really nice fucking father. Your mom. My grandfather was apparently a great guy, but he just ribbed on everybody. Like, and yeah. he would just call people shit like, you know, oh, you square headed Polak. Like he would say stuff like that, you know, just off the cuff for no reason to like people he was friends with. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> like. That's so just that's... the kind of person he was. He ribbed on hey. everyone. Hey, that's look at how my look at there. Look at that. Look at that pussy lipped Albanian. <laughs> my my, my grandfather... grandfather was a good guy. He said nagger and frigate and oh, sorry. That, that, this is what I'm about <laughs> to say about my great grandfather. Um, my great grandfather would say, <laughs> would say. <laughs> This is him, not me. It said this. He goes, you know, black people are just Polacks turned inside out. That's what he what? said. <laughs> yes. That's what he said. <laughs> My God. Jesus. 
this is coming from a half Cherokee uh, 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 man. Uh, so, he, like I said, he had no tact a half Cherokee uh, 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 man. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You're you're one point Jeep. And, yeah, and the funny thing one is, one later Ranger. later on, later on, we found out that on his side of the family, he was actually part black and didn't even know it. Well, I guess oh, I hate myself. No, I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> uh, he wasn't no Pollock. I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Uncle Ruckus. My name is Uncle Ruckus, and I. I'm, I'm uh, my name is like Uncle that. Ruckus, and I like, like to fuck us. <laughs> my name is Uncle Ruckus. My name is Uncle Ruckus, and I like, and I like, to, fuck I like to hump us. Doesn't work as well. I, in the I, sense legit, of it. <laughs> I had a uh, roommate in college Fascinating. who was obsessed with the Boondocks. Like he freaking was quoting that show left and right. <laughs> so well, he, he was he was given, Jamaican given and the, Jewish. Given the nature of the show, I'd say it was he was quoting it so left. Was, so, That's okay. I wasn't in the middle of a joke or anything, Bill. Sorry. Uh, as I was saying, now you know how it feels. Give, now you give, know how it feels. Given the nature of the show, I'd say he's quoting it left and then further to the left. <laughs> uh, he, he was uh, he was Jamaican and Jewish from New York, and so like he was a Jamaican. He was just freaking <laughs> Jamaican. He he said that once actually, and he just was like, so "My name is Uncle Ruggis." No relation. Like, you shot that in the freaking hallway of the dorm. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. It was just hilarious. All I know is that it sounded like you said that he was naked and Jewish. Like, uh... What's the correlation? What's the correlation, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, circumcision. There's the correlation. Okay. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. Whirly whoop for helicopter. So I finally, so I broke down and I watched the Beavis and Butthead sketch from Saturday Night Live. Okay. I still haven't and, seen it. You know, I think it's more the fact that everybody was breaking up and uh, uh, corpsing during the sketch more so than the actual jokes. Right. Oh no, jokes weren't funny. Yeah, the, the the them cracking up and that was the funniest part. Well, I think it's because uh, Cecily Strong, one of the actors, didn't see Mikey Day's makeup before the sketch was being recorded live, so that was her legitimate reaction to his makeup. Because when they were dressed for her. Up. Because when they were in dress rehearsal, he wasn't in full makeup. Mm -hmm. They did a pretty good job. They looked like a pretty... Yeah, I know. That makeup job was phenomenal. I still haven't seen the sketch, but I mean, like, hell, get my judge on that to freaking do a uh, actual movie with them. Oh, damn it, I'll tell you what. I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, uh, to be fair, thought. to be fair, like, the crazy thing is, Beavis and Butthead have established in their series, at least in the new series, that there is a multiverse of Beavis and Butthead. As there are smart Beavis and smart Butthead who are from, like, another dimension in the future, and they basically look like the Watcher for Marvel Comics, and they watch Beavis and Butthead from other like timelines where like they're old and fat and like other shit oh yeah that mm -hmm. is true or when they were like little kids and yep so to, to be fair the the beavis and butthead reboot was actually kind of funny isn't it still going i think so i just don't think there's been any new episodes in a while I've noticed one of the things these platforms do nowadays, and I'm not a fan of it, is uh, 
they lie about what seasons are. Because, like, when they say that Velma got picked up for a second season, no, they produced one big-ass season and split it into two to call it two seasons. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, people are like... How did this shit get show? renewed for two seasons? It's people like, no, no, no. hate it's that kidding. show. Yeah. No, the the show this. hated that show. Like, they legit yeah. killed off Velma in the end. It came to Good. Me. Good. Oh, and, and the show ripped off the live action movies because the villain that killed Velma was Scrappy Doo. Well, it's the only good thing he ever did. I mean, after all, Scrappy was seen like shaking hands with Ronald Reagan on top of it all, so. Of course, Scrappy is the most evil cartoon character ever. <laughs> I don't know. Squidward voted libertarian. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, is most. Fun. The problem is, is most people my age identify as Squidward, or identify with Squidward. Squidward. SpongeBob. Both are three Johnsons. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. The problem. What is Aleppo? <laughs> When I heard Gary Johnson say that, I'm like, dude, that's the only thing they've been talking about in the news. Like, every news, it was like, are you just stoned? Are you just unaware of everything? You see, SpongeBob, we're skeptical of authority and state power and all that stuff. <laughs> stuff. Oh my I don't God. identify with any party. I just vote for anybody who's got good hair. <laughs> well, the funny thing up. is, that is something that SpongeBob would say. So he wouldn't vote for what? either Joe or Trump. Is what I'm exactly. He wouldn't gonna, vote at all. I was going to say, Joe Biden basically has very boring hair. Yeah. And Trump's hair just looks like a sentient caterpillar. <laughs> That's true. I'll admit that. I will admit that. They, they both have, like, a, a withering amount of wisp left on their head. Wisp. 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 Yeah, it's, a, it's like, at, at that point, you know, you really got to pray when you're that old that you got a decent enough shaped head to just shave it off. Hey, man, Otherwise, I had... Just wear a wig. Hey man, you know I I I had I had a wig uh, 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 I was yeah. born with, and then the the thing 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 is corn pop came over with with, with a switchblade, and then that's why what? kids rub my legs. What what is George W. Bush doing here? <laughs> hey, listen to me. No, him him he would be like ha ha tacos rule. <laughs> hey man, tacos I'm gonna, rule. I'm gonna go see uh, I'm gonna go see Jane's Addiction in concert. They rule. I'm gonna go get some tacos. <laughs> you guys want some tacos? It's kind no. of whatever like, anybody. Biden and George W. have similar like cadences to like you know. Hey, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to be cool and talk uh, to you. Uh, listen, Joe Biden here. Uh, I just, I, I wish they would bring back Big League Chew because like that was really good. Joe. Joe, Big League Chew never left. It's still in the... Oh, I, I like that. Yeah. I, I like that, uh, that that dog gum with, with, with the razor and, and, and the, the corn pot. The, the Joe, dog? That doesn't the... exist. You know, I might be an idiot. Can we go Can we go out for some ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Hi, only folks. thing you'd be able to understand them. <laughs> Hi, folks. Joe Biden here. I might be an idiot, but at least I'm not a convicted felon. <laughs> Well, 34, 34. That's, that's 11 less counts than the number he was president. Let's see how many more counts he will have. I'm Joe Biden. I like taking showers with my daughter. Bill. Bill. Shh. That is no, actually. No, I think you got the name wrong. That's clearly Donald Trump. 
Don't, well, don't be they, that guy. I, Bill, don't I, be that guy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be that guy. Run. Now I'm gonna go get a burrito. Donald Felonius Trump here, and the uh, Felonius I just want assault. Felonius, I mean, isn't it? Is, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? Um, uh, um, 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 uh, um, um, uh, 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 Listen, I would totally. I just want to say, my my daughter is really fucking hot, and if I, she wasn't my daughter, I would bang her. I'm not kidding. He did say I would that. French, I would French kiss that bitch if she was not my daughter. Ew, daddy, ew. Anywho. <laughs> you, you can kiss me, daddy. By the way, we're not bipartisan. Both both parties suck. The government is a joke, and... Uh, oh, yes. The government is a joke. It is just fun to make fun yeah, of them. The government is a joke in your town. We... Do you know how many jokes we've made about Bill, uh, Joe Biden? Quite a few. Yeah. Every president yeah, yeah. gets jokes made about him. It's just how it is. Yeah. yeah. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. I will say though, uh, when my wife was really hot too. When 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 George W. Bush seems like seems like a better president that could, because of the last ten years. Hmm, hey, listen. It really makes you think. I did. I did. You, you want to know? W but you want to know who we could all agree on was an excellent president? Grover Cleveland. Yes. He actually was, yes. to be honest. Yeah. Trump thought he was so good, he's going to try to do what he did. Do two non-consecutive we'll terms. A, let's, get a, let's get a quick picture of Grover Cleveland. Look at this. Oh, look geez. at this stupendous man. I'm going to I'll put a bookmark so I can remember to edit. <laughs> Speaking of presidents, how about Garfield? I was, uh, by the way, I was uh, saying uh, earlier how I was uh, watching the old Doom playthroughs that we did last year, and I noticed there's a lot of shit that... Dane calls for an edit and it doesn't happen. I was probably just like tired. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Re I didn't realize how much yeah. that I had neglected you, not to edit shit thanks in. Thanks for, for making me look stupid, Mike. I mean, you, you're the one calling for the shit. Nobody said you well, had to no. do it. No, I guess not. But on the, at the same time, it's just like I must have been tired. I must have been behind on videos. Dane wants a picture of one now. Fuck that. Yeah, it's either that or I oh, just I just scrubbed through the episode and didn't didn't hear Dane call out and edit. Because usually when I'm editing the these videos, I'm editing them at two x speed. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> no, I can pick out what people are saying. It's just going fast, so it takes me um, half oh. the time to edit an episode. To to, to get back to Billy's point, uh, President Garfield. You know, I really just a cat as president just didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he gave it Mondays. Next, uh, next election, we vote for Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother! <laughs> uh, yeah. I just want to make everybody happy. I don't. I'll have the clam chowder. I believe Pooh twenty twenty four is already Trump's uh, presidential <laughs> slogan. <laughs> he kind of does look like Winnie the Pooh. They got the same skin color. Yeah, and he doesn't wear pants a lot. <laughs> oh, bother. oh, bother. I'm going to go molest a woman again. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm going, going to go to court. Oh, Christopher Robin, I've grabbed him by the pussy. Oh, bother. Tigger is my running mate. <laughs> No, that's not. No, that's not true. I don't like the tiggers. <laughs> oh, oh, I. Uh, Tigger, please. Tigger's about as orange as Trump. That's fair. Um, Listen, my running mate is Chester Cheetah. I'm Tigger. I don't know the difference. <laughs> you all look cool. alike to me. Oh, wait a second. I'm too cool to fool. <laughs> that game sucked. <laughs> Trust oh, me, man. we we fucking played it. <laughs> we played it. It was broken. Not only it was did a we AAA title. Not only did we play it, but it was a Jason's choice pick. <laughs> that is true. You know what though? No, you know what though? Yeah, it was. It's still better than the sequel. Unlike Chameleon Twist, we had spun too. and landed on Jason's choice, and he picked Chester Cheetah too cool to fool. And we played it, and it was ass. It was what? it I was like ass a, flavored I felt ass. Like a fool. I did. I felt like a fool too, for thinking that Chester Cheetah could ever have 
a good video game, and apparently he had several. He had two, at least two. I know on there two, were two across, on the SNES. There was two because on, the second one sucked. There was two on SNES and Genesis, both Too Cool to Fool and uh, whatever the the Wild Wild whatever. That's they're both on SNES and Genesis. The Wild wow, Wild, wow. yeah. And then there's also the, apparently the thing is, is like there's also Cool Spot. Yeah, there's also apparently a uh, bananas in pajamas ROM hack of Chester Cheetah Too Cool to Fool. Bananas oh in pajamas are marching down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas, they wear no underwear. I I really did not like that show growing up because it was like the gap of time between <laughs> shows, like during weekdays. I would wake up at like five o'clock in the morning to watch Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh, Samurai Pizza Cats. Pizza Cats. Yeah, like, it was on at 5.30. I would wake up, you know, early to watch that on a school day because it was funny. <laughs> you know, but then, like, right after that, bananas, if it changes, it's like, ah, I'm changing the channel, changing the channel. It's awful. And then did I think it, Sailor Moon was on did, at 6.30. Did, did a banana in pajamas molest you when you were younger, Jace? No, it was just, like, it made no sense why they... You know, scheduled the shows the way they I, did. I, I accidentally, because, like, I accidentally sat on a banana when I was twelve, and it traumatized me. Oh, like it's it's just one of those shows where I'm it's glad, just like you know. I'm glad that, that we just go, glossed past that. <laughs> oh, look, secret, secrety secret, secret tunnel. These are the uh, level makers. Teresa Chazar ah. and Tim Willits, who also worked on Doom, by the way. That is true. Oh, speaking of Garfield, um, yesterday I uh, took Emily to go see that new Garfield movie. Oh, yeah. With uh, Samuel L. Jackson. And Emily. It's actually written. And Emily was like, if, actually... if nobody, like, emos themselves in this movie, then I'm not interested. She's actually made, turned herself around. That's what it's all about. But uh, she, <laughs> she did the hokey pokey. Fucking Billy. <laughs> she turned herself around. That's what it's all about. He, was, he yeah. already he's, he said that with the hokey pokey joke already in mind. <laughs> yeah. You put your ball sack yeah. in. You put your ball sack in. You put your ball sack really, into my mouth. In my mouth. And twirl it Mr. all Bullock. about. The movie is actually Bullock. really good. Put your balls in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bucket, you put your balls in my top. You put your balls in his top. If you put your balls in his yeah. mouth, you're doing it backwards. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth, there, no <laughs> oh, Mr. Bucket, and I'll fuck it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bucket. Wee! Buckets of fuck. Mr. Buckets. Mr. Buckets. He's not a bucket. It's buckets of fuck. <laughs> that's my uh, punk band's name. Buckets. buckets of fuck. That's amazing. Yeah. That's that's actually a really good. That punk is a band really good name. punk band <laughs> name. Yeah. Fuck. We're buckets of fuck, and this is our first single. It's called Violate the Pole. Go to the festival featuring the Buckets of Fuck, the whore's left hand, tattoo my whore's cock. Tattoo? <laughs> wow. Orgasm with a Z. Hi, we're Tattoo by Fuck. Here's and, our first single. And, Shun, sunshine and, Unicorn. And, and Slipknot. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, and, I saw a video recently. Slipknot's doing a collaboration with Shin Megami Tensei 5. Really? Listen, yeah, listen we live... Like, teaming up with random like metal bands for some odd reason, and Slipknot had like... Three of the monsters Listen, from the game. We live in the darkest timeline because the lead singer of Slipknot appeared in a Nostalgia <clears throat> Critic episode. So, Corey Taylor. Yeah. What what episode was that? The Wall. Pink Floyd's The Wall. Uh. Why, did, did widely like widely regarded as one of the critics' one worst one. episode. Well, this was after all the the the, the change the channel backlash too. Which, by the way. The only people wow. holding on to that are Lupa and 
uh, Bar's Phelous. girl. That's really it. No, I don't. Phelous doesn't even fucking talk about it anymore. Most of the people who have have were were a part of that debate are just like, eh, who fuck cares anymore? It's over. We're with. done. We're no longer. We're no it longer doesn't matter. Other the website longer. doesn't exist anymore. Channel Awesome actually stopped functioning as a website earlier this year. So. Wow. I mean, it's it's literally just him making nostalgia critic videos and yeah. occasionally, like what the the script person doing stuff like they did they just finished doing batman i think and i think this year they're finishing up twilight tober yeah so like that that person will have like next to nothing left to do really on the channel you know so it's like the channel is gradually just winding down like plus doug walker is just looking really freaking old yeah I, I, I'm hearing. I'm hearing he's considering retiring in 2027, about the 20th anniversary of the of the critic. Which is funny because like James Rolfe is like, yeah, happy 20 uh, 20 years to the nerd. I'm still doing it, bitches. Yeah, yeah. He's because he actually loves what he's doing. That's that's the thing. Yeah. But he also it, does other There's... things besides that. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, Critic did other things. Like, Doug Walker did, like, he, he had the one, like, where he was covering, like, dark cartoons that were like, you know, yeah, it's for kids, which is why it's traumatizing. And, and those were actually kind of entertaining, you know, along with when he covers, like, commercials, because, God, the commercials, fun, the fucking shit back in the day. Yeah, the <laughs> funny thing is... I met all you guys because of Channel Awesome in a way. Yeah, because we were posting regularly to Channel Lot to well, it was that guy with the glasses at the time, but we were posting regularly to that website when when we all kind of met. The metal cast is getting posted the, on there regularly and shit like that. The the person that uh, directed me towards you guys was actually Jillian. Yeah. She messaged me. She goes, "Hey, I'm on. I'm going to be on this show. Come here and uh, come to what? To listen." I'm like, "Okay." So I went and I listened, and it was probably no more than two months later I was on a show. Yep. <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, but it's two, it's. That was November. But the thing is, November like, of 2012. Nobody's nobody's really mad at Doug anymore, just because it's come out that a lot of the shit in the Change the Channel document was. Uh, blatantly incorrect and also like petty bullshit that like didn't matter yeah like there uh, was there plus, was like there, are there was internet controversies nowadays like well, the I mean, Illuminati well I mean it's a lot of it came down to like oh Doug didn't know what he was doing on the on the anniversary movies I was like well no shit he didn't he's not <clears throat> Steven Spielberg not a, he's not a big director he's he was trying to aim for the excited. moon and he missed it's not like, yeah, it's not like he was trying to make Schindler's List 2 or something like that, you know? He was just, it was a stupid little goofy movie. But people were like, oh, one of the complaints was, oh, Lupa, I didn't get no Applebee's. And then it turns out, oh, yeah, Doug. No, no, no. Goofy Doug, movie was done by Disney. Right. But I was like, Doug, uh, Doug didn't get no Applebee's for me, you know. And then if you come to find out later, well, yeah, he apologized for that and actually took us out to dinner anyway, to a different restaurant. Oh, what a horrible man, making up for his mistakes. Probably somewhere better than Applebee's. Yeah, it, well, literally, literally anywhere. <laughs> It's better than Applebee's. Literally I'd rather anywhere. go to McDonald's than Applebee's. I would rather yeah. eat out of a dumpster than Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go to Zaxby's. The reason why the booze Zaxby's is, so is actually cheap good. I make you forget that you are eating at Applebee's. I will go to the Sam's Club Cafe. Okay, <laughs> there. Where I, you can get and I, and I and I quote: "This is I actually I I was at. That's when I made that recording. That's where I was at. I got a hot dog, a pretzel." Uh, chocolate frozen yogurt and a and a pop all for three forty nine. Who we lose? We lost. Oh, Jace. Oh, he had to go. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 
No, I'm still three forty nine. Jeez, oh Pete's three forty nine. I mean, I was full. Costco dogs are still what a buck fifty. Some like that. What, what dogs? The uh, the Costco dogs. Like, isn't that the the running joke? Still a dollar fifty after all these years. They're yeah, lost leader. The, uh, Sam's Club. They uh, for it's like it's like a dollar twenty five, a dollar something for a pop and a hot dog. It's 76 cents for just a pop. And you get a massive, huge pop. I accidentally got that. Yeah, there are no there are no Sam's Club around uh, where I live because uh, they couldn't uh, they couldn't get in on uh, the same turf that uh, BJ's already settled in at BJ's BJ's Wholesale Club. Short for well, Berkeley yeah, and Jensen. You got uh, you got BJ's, you got Sam's Club, and you got Costco's. Around here, we got Costco's and Sam's Club. It's weird. There's yeah. like a Costco, but they're like towards Boston area, uh, literally like in the same plaza like area as a furniture store uh, and IKEA. We have one Sam's Club, and the next one, I believe, is five counties over. But There Costco, were two Sam's we, Clubs in my area. They both went out of business. <laughs> yeah. We um, we got one, huh. one Sam's Club, and we got one Costco in my county and another one in the next county over, which isn't – they're not even – they're probably 15 miles from each other, <laughs> if that. So – it's like, uh, which way do I go? <laughs> you know, which one? But uh, the Sam's Club oh. is right around the corner from my house. And my mom works I might there. Get, so. I might get PlayStation Plus for a month. What? What? Why? PlayStation Plus. Fight Forever. Oh, yeah. AEW Fight Forever is the free game this month. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. I already own it. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Even free? I mean... Even free, my dude. Even free. Even free, I my played dude. It. Even yeah, free, like, I they're, they're it. I was like... trying to do a sequel to the game because the first one was so middling. It's it's not that it's terrible. It's just... It's <laughs> boring. It's just boring. Yeah, yeah that was the to... problem. Is like it's the, the expectations were high because everybody was like, oh, it's like No Mercy. That's a high bar. Like no mercy. Yeah, it was a high bar. There was no way in hell they were ever going to match that hype. It it was yeah the how how could I say this? Um, when you when you looked at AEW, which it was graphically it looked nice. I didn't care for the art so much. The gameplay was very limited. Uh, match types was very arcadey limited. You know, but then you go and you. At the time, you know, WWE 2K, you know, 23, I mean, other than you couldn't have, like, barbed wire matches or anything like that, an exploding barbed wire, but it was, anyways, but you could customize your matches to any way you wanted. You had a huge roster of characters. You could custom, basically custom make anybody you wanted. You know, it had a larger community, uh, you know, because you could, like, download certain you know pictures you know and prints and stuff like that from to make your tights and gear and stuff it was it was just and the gameplay was so much more diverse you know what i mean people can complain about the 2k games but when you compare them to aew's game it just wasn't uh it, it just didn't come close Uh, it's it's a shame, you know, that AEW has fallen so far in five years. It's it's kind of funny because like Rick called it. He's like, yeah, I give them five years. Yeah, like, you know, you get all that hype. Uh, Tony Khan doing cocaine, you know, believing his own hype. Tony Kane doing cocaine. Well, doing you got a Spongebob. Yeah. 
For God. You got a SpongeBob game for free. Cosmic Shake. Yeah, I heard about that. And you got Streets of Rage 4 for free. Ah, good game. Uh, really freaking hard. Like, harder than the original games. You have AEW Fight Forever, and I'm looking at it right now, because I... Yeah. Because uh, you own it? Because I own it? Yeah, I already own it, so why even put it in the library, since I already have it in my library? Um. And the funny thing is, a lot of the wrestlers that are in the game aren't even, aren't even the in the company game. anymore. Yeah, yeah, they're gone. Or they just completely are out of wrestling in general. Some of them, like, okay, um, <laughs> CM Punk, no longer in the yep. company anymore. Um, what's her face? The, the real big um, uh, black woman. Jade Cargill. She's not yep. in AEW anymore. Yeah, they, she's in WWE. <laughs> yeah, currently one half of the women's yeah. tag team champions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I'm stuck. Please die. Phenomenal. Please die. She's, oh. she's, she's uh she's phenomenal. Oh, no, no, by the no. way, <laughs> I was stuck. I couldn't uh, move for some reason. I mean, uh, she she's okay. I feel like she's still kind of greenish. You know, she's kind like, of green, the, but she, so she's the problem is her, about her. Her booking was done in such a way to protect her that, like, she's basically just Chi Goldberg minus, you know, yeah, the Goldberg after problems. A, after a while, WWE is going to like, okay, we're going to feed you a little for a little while, but then you better improve yourself because. Yeah, because uh, we don't need another uh, Nia Jax. We already have one. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's back and now is queen of the ring. Um, I'm like, I'm yeah. thinking to myself, I'm like, you I'm like, Nia, I'm not. like. You know, that was I'm a thinking, Dwayne decision. Yeah, I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, Nia, you know, those months that you were gone, you better have improved your technique. <laughs> she looks like she's lost nope. a bit of weight. Really? I don't know that. Uh, I, I can't tell. That un know. that annihilator she did to uh, Lara Valkyria at the Queen of the Ring event, the King Queen of the Ring event, it's pretty nasty looking. Yeah. Why can I not? Yeah. What the fuck, K keyboard? What are you doing? Keyboard. Hello. My keyboard is seems to be malfunctioning. I can just keep randomly getting stuck. That's not good. They, they have other things that are like, oh, well, here, uh, we got Samoa Joe in uh, now, and that's probably the one of the latest. Um, Samoa Joe, I, I, he was in WWE for a long time, but they didn't do anything with him. And that's, that's the sad thing about him. They didn't do anything with him. I mean, it's WWE. Especially back under Vince. Yeah, if he I'm were to come back, if, if he were to come back now, oh dear God, imagine what they would be able oh, to do Oh, he's not, him. he wouldn't be able to come back now. He, nah. sold, he sold all of his stock, he's not involved at all anymore, and they've already said that he's not allowed back. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm talking about Smojo. No, no, Smojo. Oh. Smojo. 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 Not Vince. Vince is gone forever, good riddance. He should have been. He should have been gone. Apparently, they are. Years ago. They're putting the Vince trial on hold as it's under federal investigation now. They're putting the lawsuit on hold, not the trial. I don't oh, the, lawsuit. the trial is okay. underway yet. But yeah, no, the lawsuit yeah, is being true. paused. Janelle Grant's lawsuit has been paused, so that a federal investigation might uh, happen. Oh boy. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie, you gotta help me out, Donnie. How, how did you beat the rap? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Vince. I'm, I'm in a little hot water myself right now. Yeah, he did. You know, this whole thing. I, lo I love the question. Was how did you beat the rap? He didn't. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, he will guilt. He, okay, he will guilt. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, Vince, guys. Vince, I'm going to go Vince get is, a snack. I'll be left front. Vince is begging for a uh, Donald uh, part two just so he can get out of his uh, legal issues. That's... Nobody's going to touch him. Not even Don's going to touch him with a 10-foot pole. He'll be like, I, I ain't going near you. <laughs> Well, you know, he might have. He I don't know. I, where you, do you think Vince got have, all these ideas from? Uh, would you, I know, you, look, need, I know you got, got his of, shit on her face. I know we got a, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> now, look, Vince, I know we have a lot of things in common. We both love the finer things in life. We both love. We're both very rich people, and we both love hot women. But there's one thing I cannot condone. And that is shit play. <laughs> I've got the market cornered on that. It was called my presidential <laughs> run. <laughs> I want to make it once again clear uh, that we do oh, not. I, really... I want to also. I want to again make it clear that uh, this is not. This is not bipartisan. We think Biden sucks, no, too. We, we just love making fun of them because they're such they're easy, easy marks. Yeah, they're easy to make fun of. Uh, God. Colbert was like, we have the 11th juror uh, who is here on anonymity. And then they, I, I forgot what celebrity they had impersonating Melania Trump. And the joke was like, oh, yeah, no. Melania doesn't even want Trump around. Just, just lock him up. Get him away from me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but he could get off with something as little as house arrest. Oh, no! <laughs> think, um, think about it. White, crawl, white collar criminals can go to jail, even if it is the equivalent of a country club. Uh, Martha Stewart. Get out of my way, platform. Those sound almost like Wilhelm screams. <laughs> Near Wilhelm. I'm surprised the Shambler hasn't made his way downstairs yet. Come on, Shambly boy. G Gary Shambler? I believe we made that joke already. Yeah, I think we did. In the first episode of Quake. Uh, which, which is very strange to think that I've been playing this for a bit now, and this is only episode two of Quake that we've recorded. Well, I'm pretty sure on the next Mario record, uh, you'll be done with that. Hey, I fi finally fucking killed him. Yeah. Yeah, I have no armor, but it was worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I think uh, the next. Oh, are you fucking shit! Oh, I see. Yeah, I think the next uh, recording of Mario Plus sixty four Plus will be the last. So I'll have to find like more outrageous uh, ROM hacks for the future. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking that we're probably going to start playing some of those for sure. Because uh, there's there's definitely uh, some rather ingenious like Mario 64 and uh, uh, Super Mario World ones. I need to track down more of those. So the the one that I'm I think most disappointed that we would not be able to do just because 90% of the time I'm stuck at work and the other 10% would mean trying to get Parsec to work properly. Uh, there's a ROM hack of Super Mario World where player two controls the enemies. Yeah, it's it's kind of like that mode in uh, uh, Perfect Dark counteroperative mode, with the exception that 
there are a few levels later on into the ROM hack that player two has to control the enemies to make platforms for player one to jump between. So it becomes like a weird co-op puzzle game at that point. Interesting. Yeah. So I love Parsec, but boy, is it a pain in the ass to get working properly sometimes. Ah, oh, crap. Damn, that was quick. It's because I have no armor. Kill, killed in the mange. The wizard has mange. Oh, no. I think it's the wizard. We have to put him down. It's just the wizard's mance. Oh. <laughs> that, that looked like a G on my tiny ass phone screen, okay? <laughs> uh. There we go. <clears throat> Some armor would be very helpful. <clears throat> right about Nizau. Wrap for now. Wrap <laughs> for now. Huh, that's a wrap for now. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Eat nails. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go around and go around and go around. Hey, armor, finally. I was gonna say, jump down here, bitch. This room makes me feel like I'm playing chess. I can't explain it. Might be the floor has probably a lot to do with that. I hear the secrets that I keep when I'm talking to myself. I hear <laughs> the secrets. When I'm talking to sheep. <laughs> ah. Be quiet. I'm going to be streaming after this. Congrats. Oh, I'll be getting done recording. Yeah. So if you guys want to come and watch, um, I'm going to be playing um, Giga Bash. Oh, I've been meaning to get that uh, next time it's on sale. Because uh, there's uh, I assume both you mean, Godzilla and Ultraman DLC. I assume you mean after the session and not after this episode. <laughs> We've still got one more to record. Yeah, after the session. Thunderbolts! Like... Um... Uh, we'll be that for about... Shit. We'll be pl I streamed earlier today and I played, um... Dragon Ball Breakers? Yeah, that's what it's ah. called. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, I didn't care for it. I usually like Dragon Ball games. I mean, I, I feel hey. like Dragon Ball games kind of, uh... Uh, he gets to see what happens with, when you uh, uh, release the thunderbolt in water. Uh, <laughs> like what I thought was going to happen. Yep. Yeah. That's, I quick save just for that reason. <laughs> just so I could do that joke. Mike did a funny, everyone. Yep. Now let's all point and laugh. Ah! <laughs> now point and laugh. <laughs> laugh at the kid. Oh. Oh. Wave and wave to the people. Pull your <laughs> pants down. Shank your wiener at him. Arrested for indecent exposure. Now you're a sex offender. Oh, sir, <laughs> sir, we're um, we're arresting you. Actually, why is that? Well, he laughed at me. Well, he's because the one you with told his, him to pull down. He's the one with his wiener out. <laughs> he's also a child, and you forced him to pull his pants down oh. and his wiener out. So yeah, oh. we're arresting you. <laughs> oh, that's what would happen. Oh no, oh, you are now you are now labeled a pedophile. Oh no. 
But I don't well, have I'm sex. Not I'm not. I don't fuck children. I'm not Ian Watkins. No, but you did this, and you now you're going to prison. Now I'm going to have a t very loose asshole. Ah. Ha ha! <laughs> this has been <laughs> this. This has been alternate realities of Simpson episodes with Michael Riley and Billy Carter. <laughs> this has been actual outcomes of Simpson episodes. Yeah, in real life. This this has been realism. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, Simpsons IRL. <laughs> In real life, if you tie a naked boy to a light pole, uh, you tend to get in trouble for that. Yeah. Simpsons movie. Yeah, 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 looking at you. Even though I don't. Also, if you dare your son. I don't if really you dare know. Dare your son to skateboard naked? You're gonna get in trouble. Yeah. That's the other thing. Is like I don't really know how to feel about uh, a movie that shows Bart Simpson's penis. I didn't really need to see that. No. I yeah, don't think, but you know what? I don't think any of us are, the, like, better off for having seen it. The punchline of Ralph Wiggum having Bart skateboarding by naked and Ralph just going, I'm gay now, was kind of worth it. Happy Pride. I even like though, boys even now. Even though this airs in July. <laughs> 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 And then five seconds later, he forgets that he even said that and goes eat, and then goes eat Play-Doh. Ra I think Ralph Wiggum uh, is actually bisexual. He'll buy anything sexual. <laughs> yeah, he'll buy anything sexual. herp a derp oh, No, I want the rockets. Thank you. Now, talking about Simpsons is reminding me that I need to watch the new South Park special. Oh, yeah. What, the, the weight loss episode where they make fun of Lizzo? Yeah. Well, Cartman goes on Ozempic. Oh, yeah. I couldn't afford um, Ozempic and, and um, Manjaro. What did you buy? I bought Lizzo. <laughs> By the way, Billy, what are you eating? <laughs> oh, um... Gilbert Grape. Stew? <laughs> stew. Oh, I thought you said a shoe. So, uh, like, are you really that desperate beef. for food, Billy? <laughs> beef shoe. No. Beef shoe. Ugh. It's a delicacy in Kenya. <laughs> I'm eating shoe leather. Oh my god! Wow, you're eating. Uh, uh, you're eating. You're eating Jennifer Love Hewitt's skin. And <laughs> you're you're eating uh, Berber. That's what it is. Berber. I that's, would still do Jennifer Love Hewitt. That's an that's an industry term. It's because she's like our age. We are yeah. we are shoe leather, Billy. Oh, uh, speak for yourself. I am. I am not shoe leather. What are, well, what are you then? Harry shoe leather. Fair. <laughs> I mean, she's not that old. I mean, in Hollywood terms, it's old. And, yeah, but I mean, that's Hollywood. In, for I was you. say in Hollywood, Hollywood terms, she's fucking ancient. Yeah. I mean, I'd actually I mean, say I'd, she looks really good for her I was age. Say, in Hollywood terms, she went straight to Ethel Merman. I'd bang Jennifer Gardner. Yeah, right I thought you were gonna tell me you're gonna bang Ethel Merman. Oh God, no! She's it's, a corpse. <laughs> There's no penis because, uh, like Bill's penis. <laughs> she's uh, she's in the news right now for uh, talking about working with Whoopi Goldberg in Sister Act Two. Who Ethel Merman? That's weird. Nah, Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> I know I'm dead, but I wanted movie. to talk to you about <laughs> my time I worked with Whoopi. She Goldberg. was she was in Sister Act Two. Whoopi Goldberg apparently. <laughs> Yes, Whoopi Goldberg was in this track, too. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Jennifer Love Hewitt. In fact, you might even say she was the main character in this track, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've seen Sister Act, too. 
Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's her face from Beekman's World was in Sister. Oh, uh, Alana Ubach. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's funny because I saw that and I'm like, hey, that's what's your face for? Yeah, it's Beekman's assistant, as it were. I forget her name. It's first. It's first one. Yeah, the good one. Yeah, Jennifer Love Hewitt played Margaret. Alana Ubach <laughs> played Maria. I love that Beekman used his actor's real last name as an exclamation. Zaloom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Paul Zaloom is, is his name. Yeah. Apparently, he's still doing the Beekman thing. I mean, um, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know. Yeah. I mean, uh, he does, like, says shows. here uh, you can hire him to do shows and stuff. Puppeteer and actor. Ah, oh, god damn it! From Garden City, New York. <laughs> Uh, apparently, uh, educated at the Choate School, now Choate Rosemary <laughs> Hall in Wallingford, <clears throat> Connecticut. Where'd you go to school? Choate. Cuts to him getting beaten up. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> uh, began his entertainment career at Goddard College with artists in residence at the Bread and Puppet Theater, a troupe specializing in self-invented homemade theater. Uh, and one of their lo performance locales was uh, Coney Island, where Zaloom is said to have given advice <laughs> to the unofficial mayor of Coney Island, Dick Ziggin, on how to bring yeah. in crowds. And on that note, uh, thanks for watching this episode of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Uh, for Dick Ziggins and Alana Ubach, I'm Paul Zaloom, and we'll see you on the next episode of Backseat Gamer. I'm a fat Italian rat. We knew that. <laughs>